Hello and welcome to a dead and buried quest quick guide to unlock the brand new ranger's workroom. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This quest requires the Unwelcome's guest quest to be complete, 6 stone wall segments, and 14 Acadia frames. To get started, speak to the raptor who is located at the guardhouse inside Fort Farinfri. Once given the option, be sure to accept the quest. After doing so, head to your town hall and click the circle to continue the dead and buried questline. Speak to the Herald of Varrock, and then once you get the set of channel options, choose option 1. This part of the quest is a dialogue cutscene and will have a bunch of dialogue. If you get the second set of channel options, I don't think it matters what you pick, but I chose option 4. Now there will be even more dialogue when seated at the table, and at a certain point you'll be given a set of options. I went through every single one of them, but there was an option after picking option 1 to conclude the interview and that would probably end it early. If you want to make sure that nothing goes wrong, just go for every single option and then the conversation will end automatically. After the conversation, be sure to speak to Bill and ask him about Dead and Buried by choosing the first option. Next, go ahead and grab or create your 14 Acadia frames and 6 stone wall segments to build the Ranger's Workroom Tier 1. You can do so by clicking on the blueprint table and then starting the build. The new building is attached to the guardhouse and won't be hard to find as it's right next to where you started the quest at the Raptor NPC. After completing the build, go ahead and speak to Guard Captain Sophia. The build will take you a little bit over 6 minutes. For the next part of the quest, we're going to be walking through the wilderness, and even though it's a very short distance before going into a quest instance, I want you to turn off PvP mode in case it's turned on by speaking to the Vala NPC in Edgeville as seen on screen. Head back to Fort Farinfri and go through the northern entrance and walk towards the wilderness crypt. Once arrived, click the circle to continue the dead and buried quest. Inside, you'll find the raptor NPC busy holding off a bunch of risen ghosts, telling you to find 9 building materials to build a new bridge. You obtain these 9 building materials by investigating the spooky halls to the west, where the armored phantoms usually are, and killing 3 different ghouls. After doing so, go back to the raptor and click the bridge to build it. Once you've built the bridge, go over and investigate the ancient door. Now this ancient door can be opened by pushing two different pillars, except as you can see you cannot do this by yourself, so what you're going to need to do is take control of the raptor NPC and place the NPC in front of one of the pillars, then stand in front of the other one yourself and then push it so that you can both open up that door. Investigate the ancient door to get a dragonkin device. Click on it in your inventory. Next, you're going to have to visit Reldo in the Varrock Castle Library, so go ahead and go to the Varrock Castle, go to the library, and then click on the circle to continue the dead and buried quest. Speak to Reldo. Continue with the conversation until the raptor goes knockout, and Reldo will give you a sleep potion. Be sure to drink that potion from your inventory. Next, inspect the Dragonkin device in your inventory and select option 1 to go inside Raptor's Dream. Speak to the Raptor. Now this part of the quest is relatively straightforward, but just in case you don't understand, all you're going to need to do here is open up different barriers. These barriers are opened by having either a player, NPC, or boulder on top of a pressure plate. As you can see, there's a barrier with more than two pressure plates, so you're going to need to unlock a different barrier to get a boulder to then place on top of one of those pressure plates. Start by unlocking the first boulder using the Raptor NPC and your own character. The boulders can be moved by either using the Raptor NPC or your own character by left-clicking it to push or right-clicking it and choosing the pull option. The Raptor NPC is a very strong NPC and for that reason you're not able to use the NPC for a short distance. Simply put, your character is used for more delicate and precise movements while the Raptor can speed up the boulder pushing process if you want to push that boulder 10 tells further. Unlock the second barrier and the second boulder by using the first boulder and the raptor NPC and your own character. Then open up the third barrier by using the raptor, your own character, and the other two boulders. A partial cutscene will now trigger. Next, you're going to need to open up a fourth barrier. Place your character and the raptor on these two pressure pads. Then use the raptor to push away the boulder that's in front of your own character. Swap your character and raptor NPC positions and then do the exact same thing using the raptor NPC pushing the boulder straight on top of the pressure pad. 
You can now place the Raptor and your own character on the other two pressure pads to open up the fourth barrier, and another cutscene slash dialogue section will play. You will now encounter a fifth barrier and be sure to place the Raptor NPC on the first section or first pressure pad. A boulder will appear which you're going to want to drag and place on the first pressure pad. Next, make sure you're standing on three pressure pads as seen to trigger another dialogue cutscene. If the first and second pressure pad are activated after the cutscene, you'll see another boulder. Use this boulder to fill another pressure pad spot, then stand on the other remaining one to open up the barrier. Another cutscene will trigger. After this cutscene, run towards the burning house and strange girl to trigger another cutscene with some dialogue. I don't think the options you pick here matter, but if you wanted to know, I just picked option 1 every single time. In this cutscene, you'll figure out that the raptor is, in fact, a woman. I have a feeling we're going to need to bonk a lot of people after this quest. You'll notice that there's a lot of dialogue to go through, and after doing so, you'll be placed in a brand new area with a single dim light. Investigate the dim light and fight the ghosts that appear, which you're going to need to finish off using the raptor NPC. So bring them to low health, then switch to the raptor and click them slowly, one by one, to finish them off. After having killed all the ghost-like enemies, click on the Pillar of Light to interact with it, and then speak to King Royald who will spawn. Next, you're going to do the exact same thing by walking towards the next dim light, interacting with it, killing the enemies, finishing them off using the Raptor NPC, and then interacting with the Pillar of Light. After having talked to Bianca, move towards the third dim light and do the exact same thing. Interact with it, kill a bunch of enemies, finish them off when they're low using the Raptor NPC, and then interact with the Pillar of Light. This time, the Raptor will appear. Speak to the Raptor. After having spoken to the Raptor, read the ancient writings that appear. After doing so, you'll go through a bunch of dialogue and end back in the Varrock Library. For the next part of the quest, you're going to need to go back to the crypt north of Fort Renfrey. For this part of the quest, you're going to need to have some basic combat gear. Be sure to bring that along. Also, be sure to leave at least 10 inventory spaces open. Once at the Wilderness Crypt north of Fort Renfrey, click the circle to continue the Dead and Buried quest to start a cutscene. After the cutscene, cross the bridge you created earlier and enter the ancient door. Once inside, head towards the center of this new area and click on the table to interact with it or investigate it. This will prompt some dialogue, and after that, you're going to need to collect 10 different map pieces. All you need to do to collect these map pieces is kill fetid zombies around this area, which are located in the corners and are easily spotted by checking your mini-map for yellow dots. After you've collected all the map pieces, go back to the raptor and the table. Click the table to deposit your map pieces and start a sliding puzzle. Now, if you're not a fan of sliding puzzles, or you never do puzzles like myself, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I tried to mostly brute force it by keeping my eyes on the pieces with a border, which are supposed to obviously have a border on the outside. It didn't really turn out to be an effective strategy, and it took me over 15 minutes to complete the puzzle. The first bit of advice I have for you is to turn on accessibility mode, so that you know which pieces are in the correct position as they're highlighted by a pinkish-red color. This makes it far easier to complete the puzzle. This is the correct solution to the puzzle, and it should be the same for every single one, although it's very much possible that your pieces will be in a different location at the start. Stand on the exact same side I'm standing on and click your compass to make sure your camera is aligned to the north. Try to complete the puzzle by solving the tiles in the order you can see on screen to make it easier on yourself. By using this method, the amount of tiles or grid you need to solve becomes smaller and smaller until you're left with a final 3x2 section. Another tip I have for you is to think of these tiles as circles. So four tiles can rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise. If your gap is in the outer ring, you can think of the outer ring as one big circle as well and rotate accordingly. If this doesn't make enough sense, I'll leave a separate guide to sliding puzzles I found on YouTube in the description below to help. After completing the puzzle, go through some dialogue. Then go back to Fort Frenfrey and go inside the command center to speak to Overseer Civ. Choose option 2 to talk about dead and buried. After going through the dialogue, go back to the raptor and speak to her, and after that, that'll be the end of the quest. Congratulations, you're now able to build all three tiers of the Fort Frenfrey Rangers workroom. With that being said, I hope this quest guide was helpful, and if it was, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.